Okay, the last case will be the default case. So basically, if it's not a checkbox, if it's not a radio button, then it can only be either select, input, uh, as text, email, or whatever else, and uh, all text area. And all of these are basically going to be valid validated using the same approach. So default, colon, and then we check if value, triple equal, sign is blank, then object validation. And again, rather than typing all this, I'm just going to copy uh, the whole thing. Element name, this time we replace with ID because we're going to be referring to this. Obviously, if it's not validated, then we want this ID to go to our valid array. So that's fine. Then else, if it's not empty, then we have two other cases. We have password and we have email. So we have to validate these two. So if, and I'm going to put on two separate lines, element has class, and we're looking for object validation, class email validation. And I actually put this end on the new line. And here is an object validation dot email validation, meaning if this email address isn't valid, basically. And now we're going to create this method in just a second, then curly brackets, and we basically execute the same thing here. So object validation, initial validation display, we're passing ID element and then put the ID to our valid uh, uh, array. So email validation. Uh, let's look at this one in the following video.